Okay, so you've gotten your traffic stat box, which we've opened up here in front of you. Uh, once you've installed the battery and the bracket system, which is shipped in a separate box, uh, you'll be at this point. So we're ready to now turn on the unit and then establish the Bluetooth link from the Bluetooth module to the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and power on. Uh, when the, once the unit is up and running, one of these three lights should be blinking. Uh, these are the power indicator lights. Uh, this bottom one is low power, medium power, and you'll see it climb as it goes, as it's uh, establishing the power level, then it'll go up to uh, full power. So we've got full power. This light, for you initially, will probably not be blinking. This is a light that indicates that there is a study ready to be downloaded. Uh, and up here you have a blinking light which indicates that the Bluetooth module is powered up properly. Okay, so we're up and running. Now I'm, I'm going to go over to my computer. I'm going to go into Bluetooth devices, add a device. Okay, so there's several things showing here. The one I'm interested in is the Bluetooth device that matches this Bluetooth ID, which is RNBT3D83. It will vary based on your own configuration. So here is RNBT-3D83. So I select that, I click Next. Now it's trying to connect, so I say I'm going to enter the device's pairing code. And hit Next. Now as it's installing, you'll see this little pop-up window down here saying it's installing the device drivers. So I'm going to click on that to bring that up to kind of watch what's going on. And once this is done, it will tell you which COM ports it's using. The first COM port is 28, the second COM port is 30. So go ahead and close that, but remember those COM ports, 28 and 30. Close that, close that, and now you're successfully installed.